everyone how are you today welcome on board the joy Fido international this is where we guide you and chat with you and work with you on things that concern our life our daily life now what does joy Fido international stand for it's all about um inspiring you to success inspiring you to greatness inspiring you to achieve your dreams and this is 2018 so i'm sure lots of us out there we've taken on what they call the resolutions this year i'm gonna be this this year i'm gonna be that this year i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do that but most times <laughs> i was watching news the other day and apparently by january 16th all our resolutions disappear we don't keep to it so are you willing to keep to your resolutions the things you have decided you want to do so my name is Joy Fido and I'm gonna be chatting you through again my life experiences that's helping me so what's the title of what I'm gonna be talking about today um today I'm talking about what I call overcoming the enemy within overcoming the enemy within so why am i calling in the enemy within the enemy this enemy is inside you now i read somewhere where somebody said if you have enemies inside you who needs any more enemies you know we we always say oh, like some people will say frenemies you know the ones that you think is your friend but is actually your enemy and um, then we have this new word called haters you say haters haters and then you you, you are there for example uh, people like me who do a lot of things on social media and whatever you do you're never right because there's somebody who has something to say something that should have been done the way they think it should have been done and so um, question I ask myself sometimes is we have seven billion people in the world and everybody's got an opinion on how that thing should be done so i'll be splitting myself in seven billion places do you see how it works so there's always a hater out there there's always somebody who doesn't agree with you there's always somebody who doesn't see things the way you see it so that is granted that is there it will always be there so for you, you have to learn to understand that you are not going to be able to please these 7 billion people out there. But that's not where we are today. Where we are today is that person inside you, the enemy that's inside you. That's the person we want to deal with today. And that's why the topic is overcome that enemy within because the header outside the enemy outside will always be there you cannot change the world as it is but you can change yourself if you want to you can make you please people but you cannot change people to like you if they're never gonna like you so our focus is about who this enemy is now I discovered that this enemy does exist inside us and that's because we are all human spirits. I mean, we're spirits. What, what, made, what makes us who we are is a spirit. And that's that part of us that nobody can touch. And that's the part of us that disappears when we die. Because you see the body there. You know, so somebody is there and you go and see, oh, look, there's the corpse. But how come the person is dead? Something left. What is that thing that has gone? That's the thing that actually allows you to walk. That's the thing that allows you to talk. That's the thing that allows you to, you know, be active. That's the spirit. That's the part of us that no one can touch. And so we are that spirit. And that spirit is the God in us. Remember when he created us, the first man he created, and then he, he, he breathed into him. And that breath was what made us who we physically are today. So, our spirit beings, 
we hear things in our heads and so we hear voices from time to time i mean anytime you want to do something you hear a voice say oh yes you can do it go and do it and then you also hear the voice no you cannot do that how can you do that you're not qualified to do that what makes you think you can do that and so there's constant voices in our heads and now when i try to explain to people that there is what is known as evil spirit people go oh, no no such thing exists but big question is big thing you need to know is if there's good there is bad see how easy it is opposites exist so there's good and there's bad there's good spirits and so if we say holy spirit which is god's spirit in us there's also the negative one the evil one that doesn't want anything good and so it's like saying up and down and you know long and short and 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 thin and fat so opposites exist and so for as long as there's that good spirit that guides us right there's also the spirit that guides us wrong discovering that part of us that really wants to guide us wrong so our body is just a vessel and you remember how the bible says that he has given us power to overcome everything on this earth on this physical realm and that's because our body is physical and so he says we can trample on snakes and we can step on spiders and we can we have dominion over animals and everything on this earth yes on this earth yes but the minute we come out of this earth into the spirit world something else then has dominion over us and that's where the spirits come in so we need to be aware that this exists and because our body is just a physical vessel that it's that these spirits invade and possess and take control of us we need to be on guard and there's a song that says onward christian soldiers marching us to war life itself is a war we're constantly at war and you know that passage that says we wrestle not against physical but we're wrestling against spirits in high places all this wrestling goes on in our mind it's not a physical wrestling you don't see someone wrestling with you and there's a movie i watched recently it's called the split the split gives a a practical example of what this is all about it tries to explain to us what we're saying when we're talking about this invasion of spirits this place had so many spirits that invaded this man's body and in this one body you could not count the number of personalities that kept presenting itself to the physical realm of this person so we cannot sometimes control what comes out of the spirit into our physical and this is where we need to start looking at how we can overcome this and this is when we need god to guide us because if you do not control the spirits what happens is they overcome you and ruin your life they overcome you and ruin your life and so the two major ones are the basic daily person that's not schizophrenic when you start hearing on mental cases where so many more voices come in in the case of the split the normal basic person gets it too which is the good and the bad and so if you want you have to make that decision and this is where choices that's the one thing God gave us as humans to have choices because animals don't have choices i don't know they might decide let me run that way and run that way and then in the end someone comes and shoots them and they're gone the humans we make choices and it's those choices that will either make our life better or worse and so when we hear these voices in our head we have to physically we have to use the power in us 
to make that choice. Because we know, we know the difference between good and evil. We know. And so sometimes this is where they say God feeling. You know that what you're doing or what you were about to do is not right, but you do it anyway because you felt like it. And so making those choices between these two voices is who's going to make you either a good person or a bad person. As far as we start counting good or bad. Or a, a nice person or an evil person. That person is so evil. Because all he's doing are negative things. Or that person is so good because all the person does are positive things. So it comes down to choices and we have to make that choice of who we want to be. So we got the battery back on that. So the bigger the, the big thing about us as humans is we have a message in all of us. The the bigger reason we're here is because we're here on a mission. On a mission to create a better world. You remember in Genesis where God said, okay, he finished creating this and he stopped after seven days. And then there's a passage that says, go ye and multiply. Now, lots of people like to think, see that as, oh yeah, go ye and have children. No, go ye and make the world a better place. So by this time, God's not coming physically down on earth anymore to come and create this and create. And he's coming through us, through us humans in the spirit form. So that's why I remember I saw a video once and this child was barely five years old. And he stood on this pulpit and was preaching. Such preaching that moved everyone in the audience. And I just said, that's the spirit of God in that child. So God can use any one of us at any time. There's a passage just in the Bible that says he can use the stones. If human beings say, you know what, we've had enough, we're not God will, will make stones do his work. That's how amazing he is. So there's a big mission in all of us. He comes to us in the spirit form and guides us on what to do. But you know what happens? The evil side, the evil spirit, which we all know the story of how Satan ran away from the, you know, the presence of God and done all the things he did. And now his mission is to stop God's work. And so that's why he can invade our physical form and instruct us with negative things and stop us from the bigger message that's why we are here. Now, what I want all of us to get is we all have a given period to be here, a short period to be here. And you look around, you people you know, they've come, they've gone, and you never ask yourself, but what did they achieve? I, I ask that all the time. If someone I know, I suddenly hear that person is gone, I ask myself, so what was the purpose of that person being here? That's what you need to ask yourself constantly. What is my purpose here? And if, which we all know that for you to have gone through the process of being born out of the millions that swam through the womb, your mother's womb, and you survived, there must be a bigger reason you're here. And so you want to ask yourself constantly, what's my reason for being here? Am I achieving that reason? I have a big mission to achieve. That's why evil wants to stop you. That's his aim, so, to stop you, to make you feel as horrible, to drag you off the, you know, the radar of great things to come. And I can tell you one thing that all of us are victims of this negative negative spirit we are all victims it attacks all of us from time to time but what we need to do is to wake up to his you know his his antiques we're all victims and i can tell you i have been a victim as well because right now i'm here sitting and chatting with you and i feel so excited chatting with you and why why do i feel this excited because for the past months have been under a lot of pressure i've been under a lot of pressure and this pressure as usual is just personal pressure and this is what this evil spirit does 
it finds a way to engage you in things that are so unnecessary things that do not add up to anything in your life and you know what they say every day counts in our life but the minute you waste a day is gone <coughs> you don't get that day back and so it engages you in things that are so what what you know whatless things that don't add up to anything that's where you're engaged and then you get this heaviness around you you get this moodiness around you you feel so angry with everybody around you you feel so sad you feel so you feel so lost you feel like you're not achieving anything that's evil spirit and it takes a lot for you to discover that it takes a lot for you to understand that and that's why our topic became for you to overcome that spirit in you to overcome that negative spirit you will know you will know that you're under this attack when people don't want to be around you you will know you're under this attack when you upset everyone around you you will know you're under attack when things around you are not working the way you think it should be that's an attack and so that's what I've been going through. You would know you're under attack when everyone you see has a problem. You feel they've done something wrong to you. That's an attack. So you need to wake up to that reality to understand that the thing that's affecting you, whatever it is that's affecting you, is not good spirit. That whatever this thing is that's making you feel the way you are wants to stop you from something great. And so, wake up to that reality. And you need to start asking your creator, what is the purpose of my life? Because it eats you from inside. It is in our mind. It's not something that's physical. You find lots of people, they may look healthy, but something is not right. You start hearing stress. It is evil spirit walking in there. You see people, they have this arrogant attitude. They carry on so much pride around them. That's evil spirit. Because he, he wants to give you the impression that you're better than everyone around you. No, you're not. Everyone on this earth comes from one source and we are all one. So if you start having attitude around you, something is triggering you giving you that impression that you are something that you're not you 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 start to notice moodiness in everything you do you start to feel unhappy about everything you touch that's the spirit so this is where you start fighting back the, the, you know when I was telling you that I have been under so much pressure and I've had scenarios where I've talked to you about my personal life and my marital life you know most of us out there who are supposedly happily married what happens we don't look into what makes us great all we are seeing is what makes us not great and so all we do is pick all the negatives in our partners and so there was a video I watched um, from TD Jakes and it really brought me back to reality and brought me back alive I've done a video as well where I explained to you about I call it people people designing when we actually sit down and we we want people to fit into a role you know i've talked about the haters i will tell you this is what you should have done why have you done it this way the same thing we all do we are all we are all um we've all committed that crime where we sit down and we imagine what we think somebody should have looked like or been or acted like and so this video by td jxc explains he says especially in marriage we sit down we create what our husband should have been he should have been this he should have been that he should have been that he should have been that 
and the husbands do the same they create in their mentality what their wife should have been and so we never find that the partner we're with is good enough because that's what this evil spirit expects from us in the process of creating this person what we actually end up doing he calls it idolatry which I call people designing. So he calls it idolatry. And what we have done is we have created an idol of what we are expecting. I know some of us parents do that too with our children. And so the minute this person does not fit into this image that you have created, then that's not good enough for you. And so what happens? It becomes a problem. And that's when you start being unhappy. But do you then know that you have now committed a crime by recreating God's handwork? You recreated God's person. God created this person, but you have mentally created an image of what this person should have been. And so you are working with this image in your head. And is that image just causing you this unhappiness? So my attack is being all about that. And, and if you're someone who's really into marriage, I happen to be one of those people who as a child, I adored marriage, I loved marriage, I, I respected that, that union. And so what evil spirit does, it finds what you like, what you enjoy, what you appreciate, and it goes into that and starts to break that down for you. And so I've been under that huge pressure of picking holes and picking holes and picking holes that should have happened that should have happened that should have and tdj says let go just let go let this person be god's creation and i woke up to that reality and that huge weight fell off my shoulders and now i can see clearly and so that's why I've said, wake up to that enemy inside you. Because if you have an enemy inside you, who needs enemies outside? So that's what it is. So when you realize that this enemy that's using you to fight yourself, it's in you, you have to wake up and attack that enemy. Overcome that enemy. Get over that enemy so you can move your life forward. So like we said, 2018, we want to move forward. We want to change things. We want to achieve missions for God. We want to be there and achieve this greatness that we are. Destroy that enemy in you. Whatever these negative voice are, voices are that's been stopping you from this person that you are meant to be, you need to cut that out. Because one thing I really must explain to you is, no matter what you think you want to achieve, no matter all these ideas you have, this creativity in you, this amazing person you are, if there is a nagging voice in your head telling you you're not good enough, your husband's not good enough, something happening around you is not good enough, your children are not good enough, so once that voice is there, everything else falls apart. So you need to destroy that voice. So that's what this big message is about. Because until that voice goes away from your head, you will struggle to pull 2018 together. So that's a big message and I, I, really, I really want you to be able to find peace, to find happiness, to find love around you. To see beyond all these things that has been blocking your view. Because I can tell you it's been blocking your view. If you can destroy it out of your mind, you'll find inner peace. And nothing passes that peace. Nothing surpasses it. Nothing surpasses happiness. No money, no amount of money can buy it. And that's why you hear that even millionaires. I was watching something somewhere and somebody said, if you think money is the problem, watch the amount of people who are millionaires that commit suicide. Because it's not about money. 
It's about peace of mind. It's about happiness. I mean, way back in Africa, this is one survey they did. Even if people are eating from the garbage bin, they still laugh and they're still happy. Why? And then here people are eating from with silver spoon and they are so unhappy. There is a problem. And that's what it is. So you need to find that peace. You need to destroy that voice that's causing you confusion in your life. And so I'm really going to stop here on this one. And I'm hoping I've been able to share something interesting with you. And I'm hoping that we should, we as a group, as a team, as a people, we should wake up to this reality of these voices in our head and destroy it so we can move our life forward and create a better life for everyone around us. So please remember to love, I mean, like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe and be part of us because you know what 2018 i can feel it is going to be a great year for us and i want it to be a great year for you too so i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much for watching